First Samuel chapter 4 is a chapter of tragedy. Israel, having just lost 4,000 soldiers against the Philistines, sought to bring the Ark of God into the battlefield, hoping that God's presence would turn the tides of war in their favor. Lo and behold, however, the Ark of God did nothing to help Israel win. Israel ended up losing 34,000 soldiers and the Philistines took the Ark of God captive. One of the main things we can learn is that God is not our genie or some lucky charm. It can be awfully arrogant for us to believe that because we serve the Lord, that it always has to go our way. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is death. Perhaps the Israelites thought to use the Ark of God because the last time it was used against Jericho, Israel had a resounding victory. God is not some object that we are free to use at our whim. Though God blesses His people faithfully out of grace, we don't just serve our Lord for our gain. We serve the Lord because He is God and He has saved us. So when we feel that something must go our way because we serve the Lord, let us be reminded of what James says, Come now, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Whatever activity or challenge stands ahead of us, let us humble ourselves and seek the Lord in how to engage it. We might find that the Lord has a different solution or direction for us entirely.